What is up everyone, this is Mobile Gaming here and today I'm going to show you how to fix the PlayStation 4 error code SU-30746-0 for the latest PlayStation 4 software update 11.02. So let's get right into this. So if you haven't installed the update yet and you're still like basically where I am, I'm going to show you a quick thing that you can do to basically fix this uh, update right in the start I guess. So what you want to do is you basically want to go over, over into your notifications and go to where it says downloading like you'll see it still being downloaded i want you to actually cancel the install and basically just stop and cancel the install don't have it from here just straight up press delete mine's already installed you can see it's successfully installed but i'm giving you like a quick heads up on what you should do to basically make it sure it goes smoothly and you don't even get this error to begin with now obviously if you already have this error we're going to talk about what to do to basically fix this what we're going to do is we're going to turn off the playstation 4 console completely and we're going to enter into safe mode so we don't want to put it into rest mode we don't want to restart it we want to turn it off completely as you're going to see over here the white light on the side over here should stop flashing and once that's done, we're going to basically let go into safe mode. And I'm going to show you what to do or how to basically get into safe mode when we're there. Now, the thing you want to be careful of or be cognizant, I should say, is you want to have a USB cable connected to your controller directly uh, because it does not work via Bluetooth. So that's how we're going to have to basically be able to navigate inside of safe mode. It does not work via Bluetooth. All right. My PlayStation 4 is completely off. We're going to hold the power button until you hear two beeps. My console doesn't make any beeps. So you just hold it for five to eight seconds instinctively so all right i'll let go and then you're going to see it over here it's going to literally say we're in safe mode so i'll just go yep, right there as you can see it says connect the dual shock 4 using a usb cable and then press the playstation button so let me try to do it my control is like a little messed up so it takes a few times so all right we're going to do a few things in here the first thing you're going to do is number five we're going to rebuild the database it says it takes a few hours it usually doesn't it takes like five to ten minutes it could take a few hours depending on like how messed up your database was on your console but you want to do this first before you try to do the next step so option number five is what you're going to do first once you're done with option number five you're going to move on to the next option which is we're going to do update system software from here we're going to do update from uh, using internet so you can see as you saw I actually had it installed I can actually reinstall it again from the console itself if I wanted to so you just press next you just do the installation from here and you should be good to go if for some reason this doesn't work for you you can do the install from a USB storage device I have a video on how to do this I will leave a link in the description below just do the update from there instead you don't need to do it from like it's this is probably more preferable if you're still getting the error by doing this so you want to do this from here if for some reason this still doesn't work and it fails for you the next thing you're gonna have to do is sadly initialize your ps4 this is going to delete everything from your console bring it to factory default settings and then that's basically it you should then have the update installed not have this error persist any longer and you should be good to go if this still fails the final thing is number seven which is the same thing but it's with a usb device so similar to where the other installation was you're going to reformat it uh, or reinstall it with the version 11.02 uh, on the usb device again i have a video for this i will leave it in the description below that you'd get from playstation.com and you do it from there that's a true factory restall that you're going to do and that should fix your issue and you should be good to go so yeah, that's basically it. If you guys still have any comments, questions, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. More than happy you guys up. If you guys are like this video, please smash that like button. Subscribe. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, click that notification bell. And I'm gonna be out. Peace.